I've gone from trying to avoid pain to now embracing pain. My name is Dean Carnassus, and I am an ultra marathon runner, so I run distances beyond a marathon. Some of the races I do are 50 miles long, 100 miles long, even 200 miles long. And do you stop? No, you just run for 200 miles, literally. I had a very comfortable job in San Francisco, uh, an executive position in San Francisco with all the perks. I had a company car, you know, stock options, incredible uh, salary and bonuses, but I hated my life. Like I didn't like being a business guy. And I was in a bar on my 30th birthday, drinking myself into oblivion. And at midnight, I told my friends, you know what guys, I'm leaving. Instead of uh, getting drunk to celebrate, I'm gonna run 30 miles to celebrate. And I walked out of the bar. I knew this town called Half Moon Bay was 30 miles away, so I started running. And I, it changed the course of my life. I resigned from my job and became a runner. Changing my life trajectory, my career trajectory, was the scariest thing I've ever done. I have to be honest. But I kind of saw the writing on the wall. I was either gonna wake up at 50 years old, probably unhealthy and probably very unhappy, or I was gonna be happy. I would follow my heart, follow my passions. I, uh, I'm so glad I made that decision. So I've done some pretty uh, insane uh, races. I've raced across Death Valley in the middle of summer, which is the hottest place on earth. I got up over 130 degrees. I've also run a marathon to the South Pole or it's minus 45 degrees. I've run on all seven continents of Earth uh, twice now. I mean, the list is long. People say, you know, you just seem like you never have struggle, no pain. You know, it seems so easy for you. But the truth is, I struggle a lot, just like everyone else does. I mean, you can't get through a marathon without struggling. I honestly don't even think, I honestly believe anyone can run an ultra marathon. I don't think I possess any sort of gifts beyond self-discipline, motivation, resolve, and grit. I've segued from running into becoming an author as well. And you know, running and writing are the same. I mean, it's 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration. I've written four books on my own and I've collaborated with uh, Chicken Soup for the Soul twice on running books and our most recent collaboration is Running for Good. There's stories about people losing hundreds of pounds in running, surviving cancer in running. Uh, there's a really great story about a man uh, who had PTSD after coming back from Afghanistan, and he had these reoccurring nightmares he just could not escape. And a friend of his said, you know, I read about the study showing that running can help this. Uh, he went running, and from that day forward, the nightmares went away. Running has become my identity. It's become who I am. I do look back sometimes, and it's funny, uh, every mom moment of my life, I'm like, I'm into this. <laughs> like, this is really kind of a cool way to get through life, yeah.